With all these cool side chaining tricks, you'd almost forget that the logic compressor itself has a great side chain filter built right in. And it's got quite some potential. It's got a nice couple tricks up its sleeve. Let me just insert a new compressor. I'll leave these two alone. And I'll just solo the beats bus so we can listen to just that. The sidechain filter in the compressor is in the hidden menu again that we access using this little triangle. And we looked at the output mix a while ago for the parallel compression. And above that is the sidechain filter. Now, what is that for? Well, in short, this is what you use to tell the compressor to what part of the frequency spectrum you want it to respond. All right. What part of the spectrum it's going to listen to work on and that may sound more complicated than it really is so let's just dive in and see how it works at the top there is activity that is a little menu where you can choose to turn the sidechain filter off or on or make it listen and that is where you're going to start you make it listen to the frequency that you want it to respond to and you set the frequency with the filter below it. You determine the frequency in this field, of course, and uh, there's a couple filters you can choose from, from the menu, low pass filter, band pass, high pass, parametric EQ, and high shelf. So wide range of filters. For this example, I'll leave it on low pass, and with the slider below it, I'll set the frequency, and you're going to hear only that part of the spectrum. Let's play this. I'll set the compressor to peak mode and studio BCA. So now this here is going to be the frequency range up until 77 Hertz that the compressor is going to respond to. You can see it right here. It's clearly responding to the low end energy of the kick drum. If I put it into high pass, there's a little more movement in the gain reduction meter. If I set the frequency higher, that is getting less and less. Because there's simply less energy in those high frequencies. But our example would be with the low pass filter, so I'll put it back. So this is the part of the spectrum that I want a little more compression on. And now that we've set this, I'm going to turn activity on. And now most of the high frequencies in our beats are being left alone. So the compressor is more active on that part of the frequency. Now let's see how it works the other way around. Now everything above this 87 Hertz will make the compressor respond more. So that might be a good way to leave alone your low end a bit in compressing the beats. So you can have a very compressed signal, but the low end of your beats will be compressed less. So everything below this will trigger the compressor less. And turn it on. I'll turn it off to see what the difference is. Yeah, this is a lot more smashed. But like this, the squashing is happening only above 87 Hertz. And since we like bass so much, this is a great way to preserve that in your compression. So that's the sidechain filter in the logic compressor. Give it a go.